Topping our news tonight, a Huntsville defense contractor has no comment on allegations that provided the Army with defective parts for tow missiles. Consolidated Industries allegedly shipped the Army defective and potentially deadly battery packs for the missiles. IT reporter Kurt Chason is here to continue our exclusive investigation. Well, Heather, we told you yesterday the Army is also looking into this case, and earlier this month, a federal grand jury in Birmingham heard testimony from several company employees. Now, the company was allegedly losing money on the job. Sources say they took some shortcuts to speed it up. They allegedly used plumber's putty in some parts of the batteries instead of a special compound the Army required. A company source who did not want to be identified says Consolidated Industries even shipped some batteries that had shorted out, then falsified quality control results to cover it up. They had shorted out, yes they had, because the uh, end plates were blackened with set and the wires were exposed and you could tell that there was a short there. But they went ahead and shipped them anyway? Yes, they did. missile is an anti-tank weapon that performed well during the Persian Gulf War. But after the war, in March of this year, the Army began receiving replacement batteries from this Huntsville company. Consolidated Industries has a $5.6 million contract to produce more than 14,000 batteries. The Army sent us these pictures of the batteries and missiles. But it is allegedly costing Consolidated Industries far more than the price of the contract to make the batteries. A company source says owner Columbus Sanders ordered the job to be speeded up. However, he would make remarks to the fact it was a losing job. It was losing. He had already lost enough on it. He wasn't going to lose anymore, so ship him. So obviously, he knew exactly what was going on, too? He did know some, and what he didn't know, he didn't want to know. He wanted the product to move. He did not want to discuss its quality. Sanders did not return several phone calls, so we showed up at the company. Hi, we're from Channel 31. I was hoping to see Mr. Sanders. He's not in. Okay. Uh, After a few minutes, an apparent supervisor came out to tell us the company had no comment on our story. Now comes an ironic twist. In September of this year, NASA gave the company the Minority Contractor of the Year Award. Consolidated Industries maintains rocket test facilities at the Marshall Space Flight Center. At that time, Sanders talked about the company's skilled workforce. It's special, really, because of that is, is, is a high technical uh, job. However, we have competent uh, persons out there performing those tasks. And uh, I have the utmost confidence in our management and the employees out there who are well trained in what they do. But the Army is investigating allegations that the company falsified quality control documents and that a government inspector was lax in doing his job. And the route sheets were not followed. And as a final product, the route sheets were not bought off by quality personnel. What do you mean by bought off? Uh, they were not finally, and they were not accepted in their final state by quality. So they were shipped without their final inspection? Um, they had final inspection. They did not pass. But yes, they were shipped. Speaking of the government inspector, he comes in at the plant and looks over these things. And why didn't he find out what was going on while he was there at the plant? Because he really didn't check the product itself. He didn't even take a count as to how many he was buying, much less their individual qualities. A number of lower to mid-level employees testified before a federal grand jury in Birmingham earlier this month. Eyewitness News has learned that the federal government plans to subpoena higher level employees before a grand jury session early next year. The Army is looking into the possibility that they may have received as many as 1,500 defective batteries in three shipments earlier this year. Now, we wanted to talk with the Army's investigators about this story. They said through a spokesman they have no comment. What did the government inspectors say about the claims they weren't doing a complete job? Well, they say the inspector is not always required to inspect every unit, in this case, every battery that the Army buys. But their spokesperson in Atlanta said she was unable to get a hold of the inspector handling this particular contract, so she couldn't say for sure exactly how many of the batteries he was supposed to be inspecting. Mm -hmm. But she does say it is the company's job to test every one of the batteries, and it's the inspector's job to spot check the company workers and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Interesting story.